I'm Bryony, I'm 17 and I'm from Worcester. When I was in year nine, my parents got divorced. That's what triggered anxiety in me, because the day they told me, I hyperventilated five times in the space of an hour. It was really strange because I was a strong person that could cope with things, but I couldn't cope with this one thing. For the following six to seven months, I really struggled with the physical effects of anxiety. And that was alongside trying to work out and discover my sexuality. I struggled with it before, and I tried to tell people. But I got bullied and called names for it. In the summer of year 11, that's when I decided to come out and tell people. These two things together gave me bad anxiety. My mum was like, you need to go to the doctor. And I was like, no, there's nothing wrong with me. Even though there was, I was just in denial. I wanted to understand why my body reacted the way it did. Because I thought if I could understand why it was happening, I'd be able to spot when it was happening again. I listened to some of the big YouTubers like Zoella and others, and hearing them talk about it helped me a lot too. I did my own research on symptoms and then went on to the more sciencey sort of things. So I'd focus on slowing my breathing down. The best strategy that I was ever told was to breathe in the daisies and blow out the candles. And it worked. Now I don't wanna feel like I do. Forgotten how to be without you. Now I have people I can speak to. I just call them up and be like, please help me. Sometimes, if I can't get out of the place I'm in, I'll find something to distract me. One thing I did was write a spoken word poem about unity. When I'm feeling a bit down or scared, I just repeat the lyrics in my head, because it means my mind's on something else and not the situation. I started to overcome small anxieties, little victories like being able to speak to people on the phone and being able to talk to new people. Now I can stand up and talk in a big group of people and in fact, I thrive off it. For me personally, this is the best way to deal with it. I think if I'm helping others, that's a way of me dealing with it too. It feels like I've put the lowest point of my life to good use and it helped me change my mindset.